So I've been trying to uh, nail down the sound I want for Bumblebee ST. Now this truck really, in my opinion, should have a throaty roar. And recently, uh, I'll just say that this is a cross, uh, uh, cross, cross RC uh, PG4L truck. It is a one tenth scale, even though it is quite long and wide in stature. A dually four by four truck with a, a two stage transmission high and low. Uh, and uh, it does have a fairly intricate lighting system and I just put in the uh, matching Cross RC SK2 sound module uh, which is available for pickup trucks. Now, I wouldn't say I was disappointed in the sound module, even though I was using a lower quality of speaker, and that certainly has its effect, but I'd say that the sound of the truck really didn't suit what I was looking for in a big truck uh, like this fella right here. I would like like a, a roaring engine. Uh, so I'm gonna keep on my search today and try out a product I haven't used yet. I have used products from Sense Innovations before, but this is the S Dual. And guys, when I saw this, I had to bring this in. Uh, I did show it in the last video, but I didn't unbox it or anything like that, but I know all about it, and I think this might be a great candidate for what I'm looking for, for Bumblebee ST. So let's see what's in the box. All right, so the S Dual, a speaker on either side with four types of uh, holders or bracket mounting for specific types of vehicles. Unfortunately, mine is not one of them, but I'm going to show you exactly how this will work for you if if you have one of those other four vehicles. Okay, so here's the link because you are able to download sounds to this box, uh, and I imagine this being one of the few generations in. I haven't never used the uh, download download simulator yet, uh, but with different sounds and things like that you can put on the box, that's a very exciting thought to have the option. Here we go guys. Dun, 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 dun. When I saw this I knew it was perfect for Bumblebeast because it looks almost futuristic. Check it out. Okay, not waterproof from what I understand. I hope Sense Innovations actually is watching this and comes out uh, with some waterproof speakers and maybe uh, a chip that's in, in conformal coating or something because this would be great. I always end up building protectors or something for my sound kits uh, and I would love to have one that is waterproof. But regardless, I love the Canon look of it. It's almost like a base tube, right? So look at this, a couple of leads, one for power and of course inputs right here also comes with a uh, throughput connector this is for a ultra plugs or Dean's plugs as people know it and a Y connector these ones right here are for different types of RC what do I mean by that well have a look Ta-da! So, uh, yeah, it fits the Axial SCX-10 too, uh, the Axial SCX-10, uh, the Traxxas TRX-4, and the Axial Wraith, and it shows exactly how it mounts onto each kit with these brackets. So that's pretty helpful. Also comes with some included hardware. Won't be able to help me today, uh, but regardless, I think it looks straightforward, easy to set up, so let's get to it. I'm going to remove the Cross RC sound kit that I have in there. Enter! Is it Daddy? Here you go. That's you, Joe. Who dares enter the laboratory? Yeah. RC! Yeah. <laughs> So the LiPos I'm using right now have these uh, high current um, XT90 plugs on them. They're a little bit larger as well, so they're easier to grasp and, and, and to, to really kind of connect and disconnect. Uh, the Ultra Plugs or Dean's Connector Junction Point that it comes with is brilliant, uh, but I'm not gonna be able to use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this power wire, attach it right to the electronic speed control or the ESC, and then that way the plug will have direct power. Beautiful, I can see it all meld together. Now I'm attached to the negative post. 
The secret about any good soldering joint is to uh, make sure you can get all of it into a liquid form and then let it cool off before you move the iron away. But you want to have it nice and warm before you attach the uh, solder to it or else you're going to notice uh, that it easily cracks off and you don't want that. And here is either where I intrigue you or I lose you completely because this looks like a tangled web that I've woven and it is uh, but it's not a difficult one for you to install the S dual all you need to do is uh, attach it to the power cable like I did on the posts and then you have this uh, one cable that comes off here it's actually four cables put into one main cable the black red white and yellow go into two ports on the receiver Receiver. The receiver here I have is on the top port or channel is auxiliary 2 uh, which is controlling the on and off feature or the on or off feature is controlled uh, through the throttle input which is a progressive sound uh, when you give the throttle input more you should hear more throttle input uh, on the sound unit. Right here is the ESC. Underneath here, in case those are wondering that missed the last episode, this is, or two episodes back rather, this is the uh, um, infrared controller for my uh, light switch on the LED strips on the inside of the cab. And yes, I have gone ahead and removed so much of the wiring, guys. Even though this looks like a terrible rat's nest, don't be intimidated. Again, I can't believe how many times I've said that during this film series. Um, but as long as you keep everything in line, and you keep your head straight maybe even take a few pictures along the way it should work out now I love when I say that and it doesn't work out but let's go ahead and give this a start okay so I'm going to turn on the ESC this is a Tekken RX4 nice this is the big moment this is the sound with the S dual forgive the reverb and the camera microphone <laughs> That sounds like a diesel, but it doesn't sound like a big truck either. Okay, so let's turn it off. I don't have it programmed properly yet. There we go, turn it off. Let's start it up again, but I'm gonna hold in the minus button on here according to the instructions. A long hold. That sounds so much better than the original uh, S1. Even though it's shut off here, let me hear. Uh, sound, sounds a little distorted. I like the idle better though. Let's hear the startup again. That's pretty loud volume. That's better. I like that. It's throatier. Still needs to have a better quality of sound um, for the speakers that come out these days but you know who knows you know I'm just glad to have any kind of sound in there but this rock and with some music I think at least I'm getting a little bit closer I'm gonna have to uh, check out their downloaded sounds but you know what I think that's the one I'm gonna go with for now So the original speaker box I won't need anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a hole for this speaker to fit. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are gonna love the outcome of this. Look how clean the wiring is. But that's not what I wanna focus on right now because I've been able to tidy up. Look how much of the wires I've been able to make disappear. Super happy just by rerouting and doing all that neat stuff. But check this out, one thing I never considered. It is like one or three millimeters too tall. There is nothing I can do to get that to drop down except maybe cut out the few inches of plastic on the windshield and I don't want to do that. I would rather open up this electric box. Can you believe that? All that work, all that, and it is just, uh, just a hair too high. No, even after shaving it down as far as I could, uh, I wasn't able to fit it inside uh, that opening in the box. <laughs> you know, there is a joke there somewhere, but I'll leave it as it is because there's lots of kids watching. I'm dropping down this sound box into the electronics box uh, with all that wiring out of the way. It is way more tidy. You guys can see everything is nice and cleaned up. I'll just make a custom cover right here. I just can't do it tonight. I don't have the material, uh, but basically I'll just get some uh, uh, um, plastic board and wrap it around so it looks a little bit more clean, but still giving me good sound from each speaker. Uh, I want to get this on, on the lid on board and see how this actually sounds. This sound kit sounds so much better. Just you guys are having to contend with my camera microphone and your speakers at home. Now we definitely need those light pods on the back bar.